It is opening night for the piano lesson. Tonight's the first revival of August Wilson's Pulitzer Prize winning play. It originally opened back in 1990, led by an all-star cast in CBS 2's Dana Tyler now with a preview. Now I'll tell you something about the railroad. What I done learned after 27 years. Samuel L. Jackson plays Doker. He's the wise patriarch in the piano lesson, protective of his family and its history. The characters are genuine and real um, in a way that's, you know, uh, honest for us as a race. Nephew boy Willie, played by John David Washington, returns to Pittsburgh to sell the family's heirloom piano to buy land. But his sister and ghosts of the past stand in his way. Hell, the land is there for everybody. All you got to do is figure out a way to get you a piece. Washington's best known for his film work, starring in Black Klansman and the just out Amsterdam. But this is the first time on Broadway for the eldest child of Denzel and Pauletta Washington. Tell me, what was the draw for you? The draw was his point of view, his forward thinking in 1936. To me, it, you know, he's very aware of his of the history, of his family, slavery. He wants to go back down south. It's not like he's trying to move north. Jackson, now a mega movie star, was the first boy Willie when the play premiered at Yale Repertory Theater in 1987. When I read the play years and years and years ago, I, I understood that this kind of role on Broadway is the kind of role that projects you to the next place. Jackson's wife, 2014 Tony nominated actress Latanya Richardson Jackson, is directing this play. Her first role on Broadway was in 2009 in August Wilson's Joe Turner's Come and Gone. To be able to interpret or helm to amplify what August Wilson incredible work does is for me the answer to a dream. The drama's steadfast sister Bernice is played by Tony nominee Daniel Brooks. Everybody telling me I can't be a woman unless I got a man. There's a lot that she is trying to control and put a lid on and not show, and she can't. Celebrating the revival, Constanza Romero Wilson, calling her late husband's highly acclaimed 10 plays, The American Century Cycle. August Wilson put the African American experience on stage, but any story about oppressed people is also a story about the oppressor. And music is pivotal in Wilson's storytelling. Raise them up higher, let it drop on down. It's an ingenious thing that he does because there's so much language in August Wilson. And so he breaks it by bringing the blues in or bringing the music in, especially in this piece. Play producer Brian Moreland says the playwright's work never loses its relevancy. You're all in service of Mr. Wilson's words. This is Moreland's eighth Broadway show in five years. I asked him about inclusivity in the industry. I think people use this phrase all the time, you know, to see yourself. But, I don't, but if you've never had a chance to actually see it, and know what it's like to not see it and then to see it a lot, it's, it's, um, it's powerful. The piano lesson is on stage through January 15th at the Barrymore Theater. Dana Tyler, CBS 2 News. And we will have much more on the premiere, including the actors arriving on the red carpet on our streaming site, CBS New York. And also right now, look who's there, Maurice. Magic, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. And his wife, Cookie and many others showing up right now. I'm so excited to see this show. I mean, the premieres tonight, it's gonna have a nice little run. Uh, I saw the original years ago, and this, this cast, it can't miss. It certainly looks that way, right? Such a stellar cast. Absolutely. But, yeah, right. they're braving the rain out there, protected from the rain.